Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video. I know I haven't uploaded for a while, but there is a reason for that. Uh, I just was really, really busy and I was kind of lazy lately. So I decided to take a break from YouTube for a day or two. Why not? After all, we all need some time to refresh and start over. And today uh, I will be touching on a topic that, uh, let's say that many of you asked me in the comments. You asked, what is going to happen if I have one item gives me 50% block break chance and another item gives me another 50% block break chance. Will they go to add up to 100%? And the answer, guys, is no. Because from the one item, guys, you have 50% chance to fail. At the other hand, for the other item, you have another 50% chance to fail. So in other words, they both can fail. And if this is the case, then it will never be 100%. Of course, if you combine them, the percent will be higher than 50. To be exact, it's going to be 0.75. If you want, you can check binomial distribution stuff. But I'm not going to get into statistics. I'm not really a statistician myself. But it is very easy to uh, calculate what is the chance uh, out of two attempts, both if they, if they both have 50% chance of success, what is going to be the chance to pull zero successes out of those two attempts uh, and the chance is 25 percent therefore you have 75 percent chance to break the block if on one hit of course every combo consists of three or four hits so i would say that if you do have two items that gives you 50 percent chance it is 99.9 percent .9 certain that you will break the enemy block in one of those four hits but when it comes to every single hit it is not guaranteed that is going to work now i don't want to really to uh go into a lot of details here. The point of the video is to check what's going to happen if I equip two items both giving 50% block breaker chance and also then I want to check how uh, the equipment that reduces block breaker chance works. Now I uh, will play Shao Kahn and as you can tell I have already prepared his equipment. I have uh, the General's Father gun for 50% unblockable chance for basic attacks and I have the Frost Axe for 50% unblockable chance for basic attacks. I also have the Saddle Sash uh, but for now, I will uh, remove it because I don't need it for this test. I'm going to equip it later. I will replace it with the Living Dead so that my Shao Kahn can survive as long as possible. So what I will be doing here is... Uh, it's, a, it's a pity they have uh, a Melina. But anyway, so what I'll be doing is I'll be blocking like all the time. And uh, actually, no, I'll be punching all the time. And uh, if at some situation the enemy manages to... Uh, resist the block or to uh, how can I say resist the block if they if they manage to block successfully then like this you see the first hit again the first hit didn't break the block and if I have a hundred percent chance then it's not possible right let me try again unfortunately I'm blind so uh, it's a little bit more difficult come on Jade block I know you want it you see you see she's blocking and probably this is something that I had to check she has the Shadow Sash. Okay, uh, I will test that again. Just going to cancel this. I'll test it again, but this time I want to check my uh, opponent's equipment. I want to make sure they don't have any Shadow Sash. And also they can have talents, but there is no way that I can check the talents. Let's see. Tribok, what do you have? He doesn't have the Shadow Sash, but he doesn't have... Uh, this one doesn't have... And this one. Okay, so... I should be breaking... Uh, their blocks in every single hit but in reality I won't be doing that you're going to see you're going to witness it once again there is no way for me to check whether um, whether they have a talent that increases that gives a chance to actually it doesn't give you a chance it reduces the enemy block you see again he he blocked one attack and I managed to break his block on my second attack now it was on the first one of course, with 75% uh, chance of block, uh, it is once again almost guaranteed that you're going to eventually break the block in the combo. But as you're seeing, I'm not breaking the block on every single hit. Usually it will happen on the second, sometimes on the, third, on the first, but never uh, like on every single hit. Let me see. We just try block. Okay, this time I broke the block in the first hit. You see, he blocked again. So... It is not 100%, guys. It's not 100%. Definitely. Okay, we finished this battle with style, and now we are focusing on battle number two. And this time, I just want to block. So I don't care about uh, hitting the enemies. I just want to block. And this means that I have to change my team. 
a little bit. I will remove the bolt reptiles. I have no idea why I kept bolt reptiles. No idea, just for fun. Now, hmm. I don't want to face Sonya because I don't want her to give red card to my uh, Shao Kahn. So what I will do is I will edit my team and I will edit my items on Shao Kahn. Now, I had an argument with some of you uh, yesterday and uh, he said that it doesn't really reduce by 40% the total chance you have. Let's say that you have 40%, 45% unblockable critical hit, unblockable chance by, let's say, revolvers. And if you have the sh uh, Shadow Sash, it will reduce 40 out of those 45, so you have just 5. And he said it's not like this. It just reduces 40% the chance that your original chance will happen, or something like this. Uh, but in my opinion, it does reduce your original chance. Now, let us see if I have this talent at all. Okay, I have 20% unblockable attack chance reduction and plus 40 which means that if I go to Faction Wars and I fight a character uh, who has unblockable hit chance by uh, some item, let's see, Johnny Cage doesn't, unfortunately, so I'm not going to test on him. Basically, this means that he will never, ever break my block with a basic attack. Let's see that's going to happen. Okay, Scorpion shall come. Scorpion, do you have block breaker? Please tell me you have. Okay, okay, he has maxed out revolvers, which means that he has about 45% unblockable chance. And I have in total minus 60% reduction of that, so he should be never able to break my block. Let us see whether this is going to be the case. I'm curious. Uh, no, actually not. <laughs> I tested it yesterday, it uh, he won't break the block. But let us see, I might be wrong once again. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm right every single time. Sometimes I might be wrong. Okay, let's start blocking. Oh, he's blind, come on. Okay, three hits, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven miss. Oh, come on. Just hit me with base. I don't know whether this guy has any unblockable attacks anyway, so... You know what, I'm just going to kill him. And then uh, when Scorpion comes, I will keep on blocking. Please, Scorpion. Oh, they are continuously dodging each other, that's so sweet. Oh my god! Did you see this rocket? Oh no, no, don't kill him, don't kill him, come on. I just want him to be the last man standing. That's all I want to happen. But uh, I'll be fine with him even uh, doing some... Oh no, 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 my reptile, come on. This is cold, this is cold. Ouch. Okay, I just want a scorpion. I don't want to fight Shao Kahn. And uh, Cassie hasn't even tagged yet. Whatever. Do something. Oh my god, he died. So, let's test once again, guys. The first test was uh, very self explanatory, very self evident that if you have 40% reduction plus uh, the, um, the skill, the talent, therefore, enemy will never break your block. Scorpion hit me like 30 times. So, okay. Let's try with the Triborgs. This guy has Bladed Fun, 45%, Sent to Blade, 45%, and this guy doesn't have. So, Sector is going to be the only Triborg that doesn't have a Block Breaker. So, let's see whether they are going to break my block ever. If the suggestion is right that this 40% is applied on the 60, uh, okay, let's explain this way. If it is 40% reduction of your percentage, if you have 50% uh, chance to break the block, then it will be not 50, but it's going to be like 25 or 30, because we redu we are reducing the original percentage by this percentage. <laughs> but I think it's uh, actually the, the the other way around. It is, if you have 45% chance, and if you have 45% reduction chance, it will just deduct 45 minus 40, and in the end you're going to have five. And if I have the talent that reduces uh, the unblockable chance further, then, the enemy will never break a block, This, which is the case now. You can see, I don't really want to count, but I believe Tribox of Zero hit me like 10 million times and he didn't break my block. So, uh, I can confidently say that uh, if you have, for example, the Frost Mask or the Shadow Sash, and you have the talent that reduces the uh, breaking the chance of... Uh, the break block chance, then you are definitely good to go and the enemy cannot do anything. I mean, to break your block. They can just try. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, so I will trigger my uh, Frost Orb because the Frost Orb will heal me a little bit. So, Sector didn't die, that's unfortunate. Come on, trigger my Frost Orb. Good. Now it will heal me a little bit. I should have taken Kitana in my team. You see, this Tribrock also is unable to break my block. Just I block everything. So... Alright, so I don't think uh, this requires any more testing, guys. I was hit like 50 or 60 times by both the Scorpion and the Triborgs. Uh, and let's do... Okay, one final test. Just one final test. And I will this time really get Kitana. Uh, where are you, Kitana? I want to filter on Outworld Diamonds. And see what's going to happen. There, there, Kitana. There you go. Alright, so I want to see now if I managed to kill some of them. Oh my god, they don't have items. <laughs> Why is the game facing me with such small, very weak teams? I don't understand. Okay, this guy. What do you have? Do you have unblock for chance? He doesn't. Oh, he has 25%. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he has 25%. What about the rest of the team? What about Jade? Jade has sent to Blade, okay. And this guy has Shuriken. But actually, Brawler Gloves, the Brawler Gloves were not for Block Break, I believe they were increasing only the damage for basic attacks, so this guy doesn't have Block Breaker. Okay, another one, please, come on. This is the last test. Okay, Lucane, do you have something to break blocks? No, why are you... I know why, because yesterday was the end of the season and they were just using the weakest items possible. Mm -hmm, I understand. Because they didn't have any other items. Okay, Scorpion. Let's see Scorpion. What do you have? Send to Blade. Cool. Okay, final test against Scorpion. And then uh, I will call it a day. Because uh, I'm convinced that Shadow Sash actually destroys your Blow Breaker chance. It's not applied like percentage of your percentage. It's just deducted from the original percentage. So. Alright. Start blocking right now. Come on. Come on! Do something to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, we are done, guys. Uh, I don't think that this requires any more testing. Hello, guys. This is Man from the Future. I just wanted to mention here that also you got my interest because you said in the comments that you're wondering whether the critical hit chance works the same. I think not. I think that the critical hit chance just increases. It just stacks. Though I can prove now that this is not the case with the basic attacks chance, I'm certain that when it comes to critical hit chance, it just stacks. It increases. Uh, so if you have one item that gives 15, an item that gives 15, you get 30. Uh, probably I'm going to prove it in another video, but for now, this is all I can comment on the topic. With that said, see you next time, guys. Take care and stay safe. Perfect.